the hemp oil or the cannabis oil that they're speaking about here for cancer is made from the flowers of the high THC plants generally. It's a distill, usually an extraction process using alcohol or um, a solvent and they extract then the, the cannabinoids from the plant. There is a difference between hemp seed oil and hemp oil that's, that a lot of people are confused about. But these, these products can all become a, a byproduct for the medicinal industry because if you're growing a lot of cannabis for for medicinal, you're going to be left with all your stalks, you're going to be left with uh, your, like all the, the fiber. Or at the same time, if we are growing a lot of hemp for, for industrial purposes, there will still be cannabinoids available. Even though these, the variety that we're growing now in South Africa that we're doing trials on for industrial hemp are, are not the psychoactive varieties. They're not the same ones that you, the marijuana. They have low THC, they've got no, they don't make you high at all, but they do have other medicinal cannabinoids in, like the one for epilepsy, which is called CBD, cannabidi cannabidiol. That is found in industrial hemp, but not found in, uh, um, but THC is not found. In. So you cannot get high off the industrial hemp varieties, um, but, and it's quite difficult to make the, uh, the fiber off the, the medicinal varieties because the industrial varieties are a lot thinner plant. So you can see your fibers are in the stalk material here. Exactly. So, for instance, this whole plant is based on, on zero waste. So you've got your stalk here, you can pull the fibers off that goes to your textiles, paper, clothing. Your stalk, the, the remainder is that, that goes into the chipboard or the hempcrete, yeah. into the construction materials. So the, the seeds go into your food or into your cosmetic products with the oil or into the, the protein products. The flour is what's got the, you know, that's around the seeds, that's what's got the cannabinoids in, which is the medicine. The roots you can use as well, they say are very good for, for analgesic, for anti-pain as well. Um, and I mean, there's carpets there, there's, there's twine. As I said, it's just moving back towards natural products. If you go to Genesis 1 verse 20, it's every seed bearing herb or plant is here for our use. But then that's why they called it the devil's weed. Because they try to say, everyone except that one. We don't want you to use that one to try and get that out of that. Yeah. But it's, it's literally, I mean, it is, I reckon, God's greatest gift. That there's one plant that grows really fast, minimal chemical inputs. Yeah.